So cheers. Cheers. And then, and Dan, more importantly, <laughs> I'm back on the wagon. <gasps> Yay! I still, I still have to limit my intake, but yeah. I can have a one. hefty glass. One. Ooh, that was a great sound. Okay, so this is... What did we just, how is it? Breton. I think is it's it Breton. Breton. It's Breton Vineyards. We actually got this when they did like a pop-up at Artifact mm -hmm. at least two years ago, and I've been holding on to it. It was with 10th um, Harvest. Tenth. We got there. So they make your favorite red, Pinot Noir. It is the best Pinot Noir. I love an Oregon Pinot Noir, especially Willamette Valley, and that's where they're from. And this is the Chardonnay, which I honestly, I don't like Chardonnays. Me either, I'm but let's drink shocked. it. I'm shocked that I purchased it, but I must have been uh, impressed. Well, nothing like the taste of a coffee mouth to really pair with but wine tasting. Honestly, this light coming through the window is just hitting this so beautifully. Is it causing weird lighting on our faces? No, I don't think so. It looks like I got a perm. Yeah. It looks like I got a tan. Yeah, you did. I did in my bathroom last night. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. It tastes like a pretty pricey bottle of Chardonnay, as it should, because it was. I missed, um, I missed wine. I well, missed. now you're back. I'm so excited. Let's get started on this video. Don't tell my vascular surgeon. Guess what, you guys? Okay. Sephora had their annual sale and it's still going on. This is a time sensitive video. You need to watch it immediately and then make your purchases expeditiously because the sale is about to end. It ends on the 19th, which, what's today? which is a Monday. Okay, so I'm gonna get it up tomorrow. Maybe today if I'm, if I'm really a good girl. Okay. I got a lot to do. I know. I'm very it, stressed. We're okay. sorry if we don't get, if this doesn't give you adequate time. No. We, we just don't, we don't, we can't. We tried. No, I'm gonna get it up, don't worry. But anyway, so this is our Sephora favorites. No, this isn't our favorites. This is what we bought. This is what we bought, but they gonna be favorites. This is our <laughs> Sephora haul. Yes! And full disclosure, I have two other orders that I've placed and I, they're not in this because I placed them when they extend the sale. I have one order. In addition to this. If you are a VIB or a Rouge member, you need to use the code ENJOY. That's what it is. Okay, ENJOY. So that's the extended sale weekend. If you are a beauty insider, you get 15% off. You get 15% off, and I believe you use VIB, VI bonus. I think that is what it is. BI bonus. BI bonus. That's what it is. Bonus. If you are a beauty insider member, and that's anyone that's pretty much signed up for an email mm -hmm. at Sephora, you Save have, there's your no limit. Use the code BI bonus. B O U N. B O N U S. Okay. Wow. Anywho, shop. We Save bought a lot of stuff. We did quite a bit. We're we gonna show you. Yeah. Do you want to start? Are you gonna? Okay. Sure. So you're gonna do top down. I'm just gonna start with the first item on my receipt. <laughs> okay. Which is the Sephora Favorites Cologne Sampler. Sample your way to a full size. So, <laughs> it sounds it dirty. So you try the 10 that are included in here. They're the little travel sizes. Mm -hmm. And then you pick your favorite one and there's a coupon inside that you can take to the store to redeem for a free full size cologne. Not free because you paid $65 for it. But it's very much worth it in my opinion because look at this amazing leather look bag that my husband is now going to have for all of his toiletries and he won't be hog in my bag anymore. I want that bag. Oh, okay. but question, do you have to get one of the ones in the bag? You do. Oh, okay. So, if you are very unsure, like I was, I just picked a few and I went in the store and I sniffed them uh -huh. to make sure that at least there was gonna be something in here that I would like for my, you know, say, for I, your cologne or for his cologne? It matters that I like the way he smells. Um, and there are, there are some repurchases in here. There's a YSL one he's had before. Um, a Versace one he's also had, so I know he's gonna like this. This is just like a little Christmas gift for him. And he doesn't watch our shit, are you kidding me? He's not gonna see this. But <laughs> the Sephora favorites packets, like the, the things that they make and they slap their name on it, they're always home runs for me. And I buy that every year for Mike and it usually lasts him for a year. You mean they're, they're gift sets? Yeah. Yeah. The Sephora favorites gift sets. I did not get a single one this year. 
I'm surprised. I almost bought the lip, and then I honestly think because you bought it, I couldn't buy it. You could have. I could have, but then I thought if I really wanted to use one, I would just ask you for it. There was, there's no reason okay. for me to have to own them. That's true. <laughs> Let so, me spend the money. Yes, exactly. So the first thing I got, and this was something I've wanted for years, mm -hmm. and it was in my wish list blog post, and I finally just did it. And it is the Peter Thomas Roth, the Peter Thomas Roth gold under eye patches. Yeah. And uh, Danielle did point out that they might have been cheaper on Amazon. How, cheap? much, how much are they on Amazon? I think I paid under $40. What? Oh, yeah, yeah I fucked that up. And it was, they're legit. I've talked about them before. Yeah, you have. But anyway, I am definitely going to use one tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow morning before my birthday brunch. And I'm just so excited because I've honestly, like, Jen Gotch, you damn influencer. I keep them in the refrigerator in yeah. a butter drawer just for, like, a little added cooling. I agree. And I you've tried them before, so you know you like them. Oh, I've tried them multiple times and I love them. Yeah. You can get samples at Sephora. Just ask. They'll just, just ask. go put them in a cute little baggie for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Similarly, I also purchased the uh, perfume equivalent of the Sephora favorites for myself. Um, and we get a little bit more in, in the perfume sampler which is kind of funny um how many are in here it looks like a 15 15 oh, wow. samples um and it comes with this little card that breaks down what's inside and the notes um i've tried out a few of them um that i've been happy with a couple i'm like that's really nasty i want to try some of them okay so this is what it looks like on the inside and this is your little coupon that you take in to get your free full size yeah so make sure you don't fuck that up don't lose it Okay, which ones have you tried and liked? Um, I like the tulip one. The black tulip. Which one? This one. Can I try it? Yeah. It's a real pain in the ass to get these out. Black Amber Plum is nuanced by the aroma, aroma of patchouli, pink pepper, and Japanese violet for a scent that is, provo is as provocative as it is seductive and alluring. I didn't think I would like it, and I do, and I like Nest fragrances. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's Nest. Well, it's funny because they put it in as a floral scent. I don't. I would say. I, don't I mean, find it floral. If if you're gonna put patchouli in it, it's gonna have a musk to mm -hmm. it. I mean, mm, it is floral. It is sweet, but I'm wondering if it sits. Yeah. It will. Um, what else do we have? Because I like spicy. I mean, I wear I too. Mike and I wear the same cologne. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason that. He's the husband and I'm the friend because we just the scent surrounds you all Tom the time. Tom Ford. What's this Tom Ford one? Mm. Let's try it. That's Black Orchid, actually. A luxurious and sensual fragrance of rich, dark accords and an alluring potion of black orchids and spice. Tom Ford Black Orchid is both modern and timeless. Bottled in a fluted black glass, Black okay. Orchid makes an unforgettable statement of iconic style and worldly glamour. Gotta say, I don't hate it. It smells unlike anything. Oh, I don't. Like, from over here, I don't like it. I'm thinking I might like it once it settles. Well, bit. you know, thankfully you get 15 and uh, out of 15, you go find one, hopefully that you like. Yeah. So that's another, another thing that I usually buy every single year, just cause it makes a good gift for myself. The next thing I bought, and this was sort of a random, um, I have needed a new mascara. I've been using an honest beauty one. I like it. I don't love it. Mm -hmm. So I figured I would try a new one. And so I went on this for website. I searched mascara and I searched best rated mm -hmm. not best selling but best rated and then I also clicked in because sometimes if they get five stars it's because three people have reviewed mm -hmm. it I still wanted a fair amount and then um the one I found is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara have you used it yet no I haven't I haven't used anything in this box yet I used to use this um so I will say it's a very small tube mm -hmm. but it's got it's got this lovely like a Charlotte school, Tilbury lipstick yeah old school um packaging oh it's a very thin mm -hmm. one I remember liking it a lot I think well I mean it was really highly rated so I would be surprised if I didn't but I'm very excited about this because it is beautiful. I have very short very straight lashes and I am always looking for something to maximize them mm -hmm. okay I got one more Sephora favorites kits and this kit kits kits kit this is the give me more lip lip wardrobe Oh, and in here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen lipstick trials. That's a lot. But there are 
four full sizes in here. Mm -hmm. So you get a free, or not a free, you get a full size Smashbox, a full size Huda Beauty, a full size Anastasia, oh, a full size Bare Minerals, which is in my bag. And that's a full size. And a full size Charlotte. So Tilbury. five full size. This was also $65 incredibly worth it because Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are like $35, $38. They are by themselves. Yeah. Um, and I will wear all these colors except for this one and maybe this one and, and maybe this one. And I will say for lipsticks, I mean, how often do you actually use up a lipstick? Oh, very infrequently because I have about 300 of them. So having sample size ones I think is really great yeah. because there's a chance you'll actually use it all up. Exactly. And like, there's no reason for you to have a full-size one unless it's, like, you know, a ColourPop Lumiere, which I use all the time right. and I run through. I will say I'm really pleased with the full-size options that they gave us because I love Charlotte Tilbury, I love Bare Minerals, and I love Anastasia. Um, so it was just, it was a smart decision for me, and I'm very pleased with it. Yeah. This perfume is making me itch. I don't like it. Yeah. It's, it's making my nose itch. It's un unpleasant. Okay, next. This is not a repurchase, but I knew that I like it because I've used it before, and it is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Oh, look at that orange hand. <laughs> nope, they're both orange. I had, little, hold it for you. I had a little uh, self-tanner incident. Um, it is the Soft Matte Soft Concealer in the shade... There. There we go. In the shade creme brulee. Oh, creme brulee. So I went a little bit darker than I normally do with concealers because in my in my in the past, you know, I've always read that you're supposed to go like one shade lighter. Mm -hmm. But I read it the other day, and they were like, no, no, go one shade darker. And I think I like, and I have been noticing that I think my under eyes oh. are dramatically lighter than the rest of my face. So I don't know. Now that you're really looking at them. Yours do look lighter. Mm-hmm. Um, and I even mixed a very dark concealer and then a normal concealer. And Have so you swatched it? I haven't done, I haven't touched any of these. Oh, yet. I've been using this shit because I've had it for weeks. <laughs> but I think that's going to work. It's definitely peachy. I will say that. Yeah. But that's actually good because it'll cancel, help cancel out my purple. Your blue. My under eye purple. But, um, so I'll report back. I, I have it and I love it. What do you have, Chantilly? No, I have light... I have light too, so you're a half a shade darker. I like this one because oh. it's more neutral. But that's only a half, yeah, it's only yeah. a half shade. But they do do it by um, levels of like coolness, warmth, or neutrality, and this is a neutral shade. Yep. Okay. Put that back in there of for me. Of course. Dookie dookie artichokey. Oh, no, I'm getting the itch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot about this. <gasps> yeah, we haven't even talked about this. Well, no, I lied. I haven't have. used it. I love the Kiehl's Rare Earth Pore Minimizing Clay Mask, and I know that every year Kiehl's does this really adorable multi-masking set. This one's called Mary Masking, and so I purchased it. It was $39, but you get three of their masks, and they are 0.95 ounces each. So, I mean, enough to really give you an idea as to whether or not you're gonna like it. And just look at these little baby bottles. But this is more, I mean, this is definitely more than one mask's worth. Oh, it's got, it's got a, yeah, they all, have, they come sealed, so you don't have to worry about using them right away because they're not gonna dry up. Um, but I would guess this is at least three masks. Oh, I bet it's more than that. This is the, um, the one that I was talking about, the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. This is my favorite clay mask. I super love it and recommend it. This is the Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. It's an overnight mask. I tried it and I, I love really it. I really want it. Yeah, I like this, the idea of this one. And then this one. Oh, hello. Oh, pretty. Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. Calendula. Oh, I like that word. I haven't um, done a lot of calendula research. I really like Kiehl's skincare. I actually, it's something that I want to kind of just like research a little bit more um, because everything I've tried, I've been really happy with. I think it's underrated. I do too. And they didn't used to sell the whole Kiehl's line at my Sephora and now they do mm. all of it. So that's a fun one. And if you, if you, um, Buy it for yourself. You can always give one of these to a friend or a family member. Like maybe hydration isn't something you need help with, and you can give that mask away. If you don't need help with hydration, what? Like who are you? I want to know. A perfectly oily person oh. that's never going to wrinkle. Right. Oh, so sad. 
Um, so the next thing I have is also a mask, but a different type. Mm. It is the, I say Laneige. No, no, I don't. I say Laneige. Laneige. I say Laneige. Laneige. What the fuck? Nobody says Laneige. 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 It is the lip sleeping mask and it is their holiday version, which is the Dream and Glow. And it's like this. Beautiful. It almost looks like a Katy Perry like cover album. It's sure a very does. neon looking. Um, so it was the same price as the original. A while ago, I was looking up lip stuff with extra hydration because my lips were so dry and I had looked at this I didn't pull the trigger because it is kind of expensive um and then Court Courtney from Real Food Court on Instagram you can look her up she had bought this and swore by it yeah and the, the other reviews say the same thing so mm -hmm. I finally was just like you know what 20% off I'm gonna go ahead and do it and you haven't used any of this I cannot believe it well I just got it on oh. Thursday night oh yeah. yeah that's why I'm a little behind you yeah because I, I shopped in store Yes. Okay. So I use this time to buy things that I know that I either already really love or things that I just want to try. And something that I know that I love are the Lure, Lure, Lure. Lure? <laughs> They're the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Colors. Mm -hmm. Um, I have the shade Amethyst, which is a really beautiful purpley shimmery color, but I recently picked up the shade Khaki. And khaki? Khaki? It's less green as you would think, and it's a little bit more taupey brown with the most subtle sheen. What's wrong? I remembered the other thing I bought from Sephora that I forgot about. But I've been using it almost every day since I purchased it um, because I don't like to wear eyeliner, but this smudges really well against my lash line, and because it's not a stark black, I think it looks nice. So I just like draw a really sloppy line on, and then I take a smudger brush and I smudge it. And once it's set, it's set. It's not going anywhere. It's hard to get off. But if you use the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, then you'll be good to go. But these are some of my highest rated products. And they last forever. And they stay creamy for a long time. They don't dry up. They're very easy to work with. And they're beautiful. They have tons of gorgeous shades. Who makes the ones that I have? Bobbi Brown. Yeah. They have a very similar, similar. product. Similar. Yep. So if you watched one of our videos, I think it was a favorites video a while ago. Not the last one, maybe two before that. Um... I had purchased a Charlotte Tilbury lip set from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and fell in love. <laughs> um, I had actually said in the video that I would give up wearing all other lipsticks mm -hmm. for the Charlotte Tilbury formula. I would agree with that. They're fantastic. They're the best. And so I purchased two. You I just purchased, both? yeah. I purchased two, two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and one of them is the cult favorite Pillow Talk, which Danielle already owns. You've probably seen her wear it. Um, wow, my 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 hand is such a fucked up color, but um, it is just a really ew right in my hand okay, hair. Okay, do you want to do it on mine? No, it's fine. <laughs> so it is just a really beautiful brownie nude. Your lips, but better. Yeah, I mean, I think it's more than my lips. I mean, not at the moment, but it's very. I mean, it's very similar. Except I think this has more orange in it and that has more of a like gray purple base. Mm -hmm. I really like it though. But love it. Love. I already have the lip liner, so I knew that I liked the shade, and mm -hmm. I've already have two of these formula. And this is the it's oh I didn't even say what it is. It's pillow talk. Oh yeah. I think I didn't say it. And then this is in the matte revolution. Yeah. I also purchased a lip mask during the sale. This is the Kiehl's you've been talking about. Yeah. And this is the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips Overnight Lip Treatment with Coconut Oil and Wild Mango Butter. Ooh. And I bought it because it had the name butter in it. Can I smell it? Yeah. It doesn't really have a... Um, Even though it's got mango in it? No. It's it's just waxy. Ooh. Um, Ooh, this. It's thick. Wow. But it doesn't leave your lips looking all white and weird. Oh. And it is amazing. I think that it cured my perpetually dry peeling lips in two nights. Not even joking. I wake up in the morning and they it feels like this is, hasn't even worn off. Like they're just so hydrated and plump and kissable. Yeah, I really like it. I like how, because I just rubbed it on the back of my hand and it's definitely absorbing, mm -hmm. but I can still see it. And I can actually see yep. the difference in my skin right there. Yeah. I really like that. I love it. I love, love it. I think it's gonna last me for freaking ever too. And it's so cute and tiny. It's so funny because if I just touched it or looked in it, I would think, Ugh. oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Because it seems like straight up, what is it, lanolin? Like lanolin, yeah. Um, But on my hand, that's really it's nice. It's real nice. Because I had a weird, I had a weird lip freak out the other day. I think I used 
a product that my lips didn't like and they seriously like got so dry and they actually cracked at the mm -hmm. corners not badly think the, the hard hard but um it was awful awful yeah. and i really wish i had had something like that at the time so it sounds like based on this excerpt this actually helps this formula helps repair your lips moisture barrier so it's not just like putting a band-aid on the problem it's actually fixing why your lips are so chapped and crusty and nasty crusty crusty dusty busted but crusty dusty <laughs> so the next thing i have is this shade that is actually on my lips at the moment wow and it is also Charlotte Tilbury and it is red carpet red. It is in the matte revolution formula. It is in this beautiful packaging that we love so much. I will say online, this was darker. Cause I'm not a red, I'm not a red, red lipstick wearer. I am. I'm a little bit more of a berry red mm -hmm. lipstick wearer. You are. Less, it's also coming off orangier Orange. in this than it is in real life. Mm -hmm. But when I say, I mean, it's a true, like, fire truck red, Christmas red. Mm hmm mm hmm But I think I, I prefer something with a little bit more of a deeper base. I might buy it from her if she doesn't want it. True. So this was my, like, trial run to see. Uh, you know what it is? Is I want, yeah, I mean, I want, like, yeah. Well, it's a deeper red. That is a deeper red. Yeah. I want the reds that are on these cups and not the red that's on my mouth. I want the red that's on her mouth. Yes. So it, it may be hers. It's my power color. Yeah, red I, is my power color. I think because I'm blonde. Red everything though. But I think because I'm like blonde blonde. Yeah. It just looks like I could see kind of eighties but... maybe like red lips and blonde hair, which I don't hate. <laughs> which I don't hate. It's just not me. Yeah. Next, I just talked about my favorite moisturizer in our skincare routine video, which I think was mm -hmm. the last video we filmed. Um, and I went to repurchase it because I was out and they were sold out in store and they were sold out online. So I've since purchased it, but it's not here yet. Um, but in the interim, I am trying the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hy Hyaluronic Cloud Serum Hydrating Moisturizer. Oh, it got really bright in here. Trying this. Okay. Um, and hyaluronic acid holds like a thousand times its weight in water. So when you put it on your skin, the thought is that it's attracting more, more moisture to your skin. Um, and I was having really, really, really dry skin. So I bought it and I've used it for about a week and I actually really like it, but I do not like it under makeup. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Weird. You put it on and you rub it in and it feels like it's getting wetter before it actually <laughs> sinks in. It's fucking weird. It's like a mind trip. You're like, but what is happening? But like something leaking? But now it's so good. Yeah, it's in. Although uh -huh. it's still on my hand because it hasn't absorbed as quickly. But it is the strangest texture. Just go to the store and feel it. It's in it's insane. Who also who made the other one that we had the water drop? That's this. No. Oh, Dr. Jart. That's what it was. Dr. Jart. It reminded me of that. Yeah. Um, but this is like a pretty substantial size. It's 1.6 ounces. Uh, we're going to link everything below because I, I can't remember prices off the top of my head. But I don't like it under makeup because I feel like it pilled, which is a no-no. Which is how I felt about the Dr. Jart. Yes. Even not with makeup. I felt like it didn't necessarily. Oh. I felt like when I was rubbing it in, it was sort of like building up and tiny. You couldn't even see them. They were so small. I don't like that. Yeah. This doesn't do that though. Mm -hmm. um, so I think this is kind of neat. It says it helps lock in hydration for up to 72 hours. I don't know if I believe that. I don't either. But I do think it will last a really long time because I feel like you need so much, like so little of it. Mm hmm Because it's thin. Like you put it on and you're like, there's no way this is going to hydrate me. It feels like I just rub water on my face. And then you wake <laughs> up and you're like, wow, I'm fucking hydrated. So it's an exclusively nighttime moisturizer. For me, it will be. Yes. Yeah. So the last two things that I bought that actually, so I do this every time. And I wrote about you it. In, do oh, do and it I wrote about time. it in the blog, which is I put a bunch of stuff in my cart. I then freak out about the, the number down there at the bottom of the heart, the cart called mm -hmm. a total. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I edit and I kick a bunch of stuff out of the cart and then I place the order. And then in like the last 24 hours of the sale, I kind of freak out and wish that I had bought stuff. And so then I go back to buy it. And I did do that with the next thing you're about to talk about. And it was sold out. Sold out. See, you snooze, you lose. I was sold out. I'm really sad about it. But um, I ended up buying other stuff. 
And one is, is one, it was so dumb of me that I didn't even think about it. It's the Clinique Take the Day oh, Off. Oh, yeah, dumb. I needed a restock. I don't know why I didn't do that. The other one, I need a new face wash. And oh, yeah. I went online and I did like best face washes, mm -hmm. best cleansers for dry skin. Mm -hmm. And this one came up on multiple lists. And it is the Skin Laundry Hydrating Cream Face Wash. It sounds amazing. I've never heard anyone talk about this line. I have never heard anybody talk about it, but it ended up on, it was like on Allure's list and Cosmo's list. And then, oh, it was all, the one that I saw it on first was the New York Times. New York Times or New York? Never heard of it. New York Times? Yeah. I mean, it sounds familiar. I've never mm -hmm. read it, but like... We're just like all about makeup. We don't. Read Sounds. Things. I think it's just like a local paper. Totally. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so or, oh no, it might have been like at New York Mag. That probably makes more sense than the okay. New York Times having a skin, a cleanser. They could. I think it was New York Mag, but whatever. Um. So I ordered it. It was only twenty dollars, which is more expensive than cleansers I typically well, use. That's not bad. It's not bad. And then minus the twenty percent, it was less than twenty. So um, I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you know. And I also I want to know order. I did place an Ulta order. This isn't an Ulta video. I know, but I placed an Ulta order and I placed it in a different cleanser. So I'm going to do a cleanser test. Oh, what's the other one? La Roche-Posay. Okay, you guys. That's it. That's all I bought. But this is, this is the, the, the just piece pre de resistance. Just pretend that I bought this one because I want it so bad. If you read my blog post about the items that I wanted during the sale, I had two, two hourglass ambient lighting palettes on the list and they $80. <laughs> Um, but every year I am like, I'm going to buy the palette this year. Mm -hmm. It's better than ever. I'm going to do it. And then I do the thing where you do it. I'm like, edit, 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 take out the most expensive things. And then I regret it forever. But this year, oh girl, no I said next regrets. it up. And this is the unlocked palette. So this is the ambient lighting edit unlocked. This is the best one they've ever made. FYI, I'm just telling you because I swatched them in the store. They have an ambient lighting palette four, which is a pink, but this is the unlocked and it's gold. It's beautiful. It is the most incredible thing that I've ever purchased makeup wise. I am obsessed with it. I am obsessed with every single shade in here and that's why I bought it. I'm so pouty and, and whiny about it. So these I kind of use as like a setting powder. Thank you. These two I use almost as like a setting powder. Um, this one more so underneath my eyes and this one everywhere else. So that, which ones are you pointing to? Top, the top, the bottom. So that is. Oh, one and two. One and two is finishing powder, soft light number and two. finishing powder, filtered light. And then two. this is the bronzer that I've been using. Golden bronze light. Exclusively. The blushes, the one in the middle is my favorite. So number five, five. blush is mood flush. Mood flush. And then the highlighter, which is a strobe. Champagne strobe. It's like they knew. You guys. Everything looks so good on my skin tone and on Caitlyn's skin tone. And I think if you were even a little bit darker than us, it would still look amazing on you. And it matches our nails. Some of these, oh, models. <laughs> Some of these are exclusive to this palette only, which is why I think I purchased it. Most of them were. Yeah. I think, actually, I think all of them because I couldn't find any of these. So you can buy. No, soft light. You can buy soft light. You can buy all of those various powders separately, but not in these shades. And these were just like made for my skin. Yeah. Made for it. I'm wearing the bronzer and the blush and the highlighter. I even use the bronzer as a freaking eyeshadow. I use it for everything. I love it so much. There's not a shade in here that I haven't that I haven't fallen for. And I immediately slapped some of this on my face as soon as I got here, pretty much. She did. Oh, it's not so it doesn't come off like highlight. Yeah. Although other people probably think it does. But for us, it looks like a glow from within. That's how people always describe hourglass products is that you're lit from within. That's the goal of the company. Yeah. And they're also the biggest luxury brand that is um, cruelty free. So if that's important to you, look, they put this cute little rabbit in their in their logo now, which I think is amazing. I have a few Hourglass products and I've loved every single thing. And this is no exception. I do not regret this at all. No, and I actually told her before we started filming, or maybe it's in here. We might've already been filming. I, I'm gonna pay full price for it. It's if like I can't an get experience it. for me to get to use this it. every day. Yeah. And if you're traveling, guess what? Your bronzers, blush, and highlighter are all in one little palette. Yeah, that's nice. So that's it. That's the best thing I bought. Oh, so that we wear it on our mouths. Oh, so I already talked about it. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Red Carpet Red. 
I'm also wearing a Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Bond Girl. And to me, this is just like a, a deeper pillow talk. Yeah, but I really love it's it. It's got a little bit more plummy, mm -hmm. plummy, plummy to it. Plummy brown. Yeah, love it. Love so obviously, it. Obviously, we are big Charlotte Tilbury friends. Um, but yeah, so what did you buy? Or what did you not buy? What's your like secret money saving cosmetic tip? I don't have one. <laughs> Well, no. no, ours is that we, I mean, we wait for these sales. They have two a year mm -hmm. and we wait for them. And that is when we go, like I'll buy ham. Yeah. I'll buy lipstick full price. But other than that, I really don't like, I really try and wait until it's on sale. You're right. I do too. Here's my tip. I had a list before I went to the store and I texted Caitlin and I was like, I'm going in, mm -hmm. here I go, say a prayer for me. And I was in and out, paid for, got all the, sh all the shit that you see in 20 minutes. I did not allow myself to swatch things. I did not allow myself to look at things that were not already on my list because I had already spent two fucking hours on the website. Yeah. I knew what I needed and I got in and out and I spent a lot of money, but... It could have been worse. It could have been so much worse. Yeah, because normally yeah. if we go in store without pre-planning. We're there at least an hour. At least an hour and we will have a basket full of $600 worth of stuff. And then we have to edit it and it's like, ugh. It's such a long process. And so I will say, mm -hmm. so I actually didn't go into the store at all. I would have liked to, but it just didn't happen. Um, but I can't go in there without doing my research first. Same. Okay, so those are the things we bought. We're very excited about all of them. We will fill you in with how we're getting along with the products because I think that's very helpful. Like, look at all this shit I bought, but then I'm not gonna tell you how I like it or don't like it. Right, I uh, I would bet you're gonna see <laughs> a minimum of three things each. each in our next favorites. But I will say, I've already been using all my stuff and I love all of it and I've already told you that. So unless something goes drastically wrong, watch our last video watch our next video, watch all the videos. We'll link everything below as always. Thank you so much for watching. We love having you here. Yeah. We love hearing from it's you guys. Like we get to be co-hosts of a TV show, which is like one of my dreams. <laughs> a TV show that only us and our friends watch. But I need to be on like QVC because that's where you buy stuff. Oh, QVC. Would, I feel like QVC would be really stressful. Although it's one of my favorite things to watch when I'm home, Me was too. when I'm homesick uh, because those so people good. can spin bullshit more than any person I've ever seen. Yep. Like watching these women that you know live in like multi-million dollar mm -hmm. homes and they're like, oh my God, look at this faux leather tassel bedazzled grommeted bag. This is so wonderful. You could wear this all season round. And you're like, Pamela, I know you're not wearing that. You can't call her Pamela. My turkey's name is Pamela. That's why you said it. Cause I said that earlier, I bet. It's is in it? your head. Yeah, it's, it's in a, your head. But it's also just a really good like, older lady name janet janet barbara oh also for those of you that always ask us about fake tans oh you can see mine today is it fake bake yeah so yeah, this is fake bake good. so you can get it from ulta and you can get it off of amazon mm -hmm. and i put one coat on last night and this is what i look like and then i also went to bed but i also kind of fucked it up but i mean it's a very natural looking yeah tan i'm gonna do one tonight because this is just my legs honestly look crazy though because I put two coats on. They look like carrots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go now. That's it. We love you. Can't wait to hear from you. Can't wait to hear from you. We love hearing from you. Oh my god, it's our favorite. Oh, I obsess over it's it. Bad luck if you don't drink after your cheers. Okay, sorry. Okay. okay.